Meatball Guys. What up, guys? This is Cheatball Guys. Back here again with another achievement guide. Today, we're going to be focusing on Little Mouse's Encyclopedia. This game was published by Red Deer Games and it was developed by Circus Atos. This game is a super easy 15 to 20 minute completion or platinum trophy. On top of that, the game is only $12.99. Basically what it comes down to here is we have four different areas and in each of these areas we're going to be able to go interact with different parts of that world or area. You can interact with each of the items or animals in two different ways. You can either check their tab card which is basically like an encyclopedia page for that animal or that plant and besides that you can actually interact with them so that they move. So we're going to go ahead and start up the game in the first area. You're going to unlock an achievement for going underground. And then next you want to interact with the item on the table. It's going to show you your first card or tab showing you how to play the game. This is going to unlock an achievement for finishing the tutorial. Now if you're actually paying attention, it says you can press Y to inspect and A to interact. So what we're going to do is we're going to start heading over to the right and we're going to make sure we interact with everything. You need to press A and Y on everything. And that's because we have achievements and trophies related to interacting with everything and looking at all of the tabs in the level. So you cannot miss anything or the achievements will not pop. So just follow the path that I'm going through and just make sure that you interact with every single item, animal, plant, and you will get all of the achievements and trophies. Now, you're gonna find that at the end of this level, my achievement doesn't end up popping, and that's because I was going a little too fast through this, and I thought I interacted with the mole that's on the lower right-hand corner of the level uh, over here, and I accidentally uh, didn't interact with it. So you're gonna find after I go through my path, I'm going to have to go back and revisit the mole. But um, I do pass him, and I did think that I had interacted with him. This is why it's important not to just go in the same path that I'm going in, but to make sure that you interact with absolutely everything. Again, not only pressing the A button, but pressing the Y button. Now, the mole right here needs to be interacted with. The first time I interacted with him, it showed me the mole's pantry, and I thought I was interacting with the mole, but you also need to get the tab for the mole itself. You wanna interact with both of those animals at the bottom of the water area, lake, pond, whatever you wanna call it. You also want to um, interact with all of the other animals in here, including the fish and the bug at the top of the water, the water measurer. Besides that, you're going to interact with each plant on the top. So make sure that you go slowly through each of the plants and that you make sure that you interact with all of them. There's pretty much a plant like every two or three steps. There's like four just right here on this side of the hole. Make sure that you wait for the dragonfly and that you interact with the dragonfly and just continue to walk over to the left, interacting with every single plant and every single animal. Some of them don't have an A option, only a Y option, which is the tab option. A is interact and Y is for the tab. So it only shows A if you can interact with that uh, animal or object and then they'll move around or whatever. So just make sure that you continue all the way to the left-hand side, interacting with everything. You should get an achievement for interacting with all of the animals in the level. And then you want to go down here, you want to interact with that, interact with that, and then just a little bit further down, we have a worm that we need to interact with if you did not interact with him in the beginning. And at this point, your achievement or trophy should pop. Now, I ended up having to go back and see what I missed, and I ended up missing the mole. So if you're missing something, you might want to check on the mole, again, because we need to interact with the mole and the mole pantry. There we go. After I interacted with the mole, my achievement popped called Underground Expert, worth 75 gamer score for exploring all of the tabs in the underground burrow. Now you guys should have a pretty good idea of what's going on here. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the second world, the forest, and we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to weave our way through the level, interacting with everything and checking out all of the tabs. Now, instead of just pressing the forest, go ahead and press the encyclopedia. And from here, you can see on the upper left-hand corner, it says why to teleport to the forest. Not only are you going to get the achievement for arriving in the forest, but you're going to get the achievement for using the encyclopedia to teleport to a level. Once you start, we're going to start off by heading over to the left. And again, we're going to interact with everything. So if it says A, you need to press A on it. If it says Y, you need to press Y on it. 
So we're going to start off with interacting with this bird right here. Just continue to the right. There's another thing. And right here, you want to interact with the eggs. Make sure you press A and Y. Go up the ladder, interact with the bug, and interact with the plant on the left. Besides that, we're going to go all the way to the right. We already interacted with the tree. And we're going to interact with the bees. Make sure that you interact with the sign below us right there. With the rat. With the bat. And with this bird up here. And next we're going to climb up the ladder and interact with the bird at the top. And next we're going to go down the ladder. And we're pretty much just going to make our way to the left on this uh, floor or layer of the level. Make sure you interact with the bugs on the right hand side and that platform right there. Interact with the silver fir tree. The bird below us. There's a sign on the tree right there. You also want to interact with the animal below us. Make sure you interact with the English oak tree. And then the owl. And then we're going to continue to the left. We have a spider below us. And then another bird to the left. But real quick, one of the things that I missed is this common heather right there. You have to access it in the middle of that ladder. The first time I went through the game, that's the one I missed on this level. Make sure you interact with the tree, with the bird. And at this point, we should unlock the singer's achievement worth 50 gamer score for letting all the birds sing in the forest. We're going to continue to the left, interact with the squirrel. Make sure you interact with the pine tree. We're going to end up unlocking the arborist achievement worth 100 gamer score for exploring all of the different tree tabs in the level. Go down the ladder, make sure you interact with uh, the items that you can see uh, via the ladder. Interact with the pine cone, the blueberry bush, both mushrooms. After you interact with the big mushroom, a snail will appear. Or not a snail, I think that's a slug, sorry. Um, but you need to make sure to interact with that uh, once it appears. And it's basically like a hidden one. So interact with the slug and then interact with the badger. After that, um, just go up the ladders like halfway just to make sure you didn't miss anything. Because sometimes, again, these things can only be accessed while you're on the ladder. Now you're going to run into this elevator right here, walk into the elevator, and you're going to end up unlocking an achievement or trophy for using the elevator. Not only that, but it's going to take us to the very top where we can interact with the eagle. So make sure you press A and Y on the eagle. You're going to end up unlocking an achievement worth 40 gamer score called Lookout Tower for using the forest elevator. I also like to spam the A button while I'm going up and down the elevator just to make sure I'm interacting with anything along the way. Make sure you interact with the snake, with the bush, with the other plant right before the fox, and then with the fox. Now we're going to follow this path, interact with that plant, and we also have a hedgehog below us, so make sure you press A and Y on the hedgehog. And then you should unlock the wake up achievement worth 50 gamer score for waking up all of the sleeping forest animals. Make sure you interact with that. I believe it's the oak apple. And then make sure that you interact with these mushrooms both of them, the larger one and the smaller one, interact with the ants, the ant hill, and then we're going to just go halfway up right here just to make sure um, we're not missing anything. For instance, there's some moss right there. There's also a plant below us and a beetle above us. We also have uh, some dead wood right here, and we have the wood sorrel all the way on the lower left-hand corner. As you can see, I interacted with everything. I got my achievement or 75 gamer score called Forest Expert. At this point, we can go ahead and move on to the third area, which is going to be the pond. We're going to unlock the pond achievement for entering the pond right when you get there. And when we start, we're going to start off with the upper left-hand corner, interacting with the gray horn, and then the cattail, and then the flowering rush, and then the mosquito larva, and then the fish development, and then below that, you have a back swimmer. And then we're going to go even deeper than that into the lower left. We have a mammal. And then we have some type of seaweed. And then we're going to go up and interact with the water lily. And then the bird. And after interacting with the bird, we're going to interact with what looks like a duck. And then we're going to jump in this boat right here. Now, while you're going in the boat, you're going to unlock an achievement for entering the boat. That's the sailor achievement. But make sure that you um, take the boat all the way to the right-hand side as 
there are a couple things we need to interact with that you can only access if you're in the boat. For instance, that bird right there. Now you want to interact with the underwater snail, this creature right there, these plants floating at top, the mosquito, the mallard duck, and then continue to the right. We have a, a tab on the reed. Make sure you interact with that. The water spider, the frog spawn, and then it's a little tricky, but you can interact with the frog as well. Make sure you press A and Y as usual. Then we're going to interact with the uh, diving beetle and then the catfish on the lower right hand corner. There's also another fish right here, the carp. Make sure you interact with that. Interact with the Elodia uh, seaweed. And then with that uh, tab, the dragonfly larva, the great pond snail. And then we have another plant right here. We have a water mussel, a leech. And we're going to continue to look at the bottom. We have a pike, a water scorpion, and at this point, you should be unlocking the Pond Expert Achievement or 75 Gamer Score for exploring all of the tabs in the pond. At this point, we just need to access the last area, which is going to be the garden. Same thing for this one, we just need to interact with everything. We're going to unlock the garden achievement worth 20 Gamer Score for going to the garden. Now we're going to start off on the ground level all the way to the left, interact with the plant, the goldfinch, uh, aka the bird on the plant. We're also going to interact with the butterfly and then we're going to interact with this blackbird and then after that we're going to head over into the hole head over to the right and you're going to realize that you can interact with some stuff even though we're underground we're going to wait to interact with that stuff because we're still going to be walking above ground right there now just make sure you interact with all of the different vegetation including the potatoes the uh insect under the rock the radishes, the cabbage, the caterpillar on the cabbage, or lettuce, sorry, um, onion, garlic. Uh, besides that, you can walk up here and you can interact with the cola bee, root parsley, carrots, and then there's a bug on the carrot. Make sure you interact with that. Interact with the leek, the cauliflower, and then go up the ladder, interact with the peas interact with the butterfly, go down, interact with the ladybug, continue to the left hand side, interact with the brussels sprouts, interact with the tomato, and at this point you should get the vegetation achievement for interacting with all of the different vegetables. After, make sure you interact with that butterfly and that bird and the plum tree. We're going to go halfway down the ladder and interact with the red currant. It looks like it has berries on it. Interact with the apple tree, continue to the left, interact with the bird in the birdhouse, interact with the bird over there to the left, interact with the pear tree, you're going to need to go like halfway down the ladder to access it, interact with the carwig bug, the honeybee, and continue to the right hand side, interact with the red poppy flower, interact with the nettle, and at this point you should unlock the explorer achievement worth 200 gamer score for exploring all tabs in all locations at this point you should only be missing one achievement and that's for accessing all locations and that's only because we need to access the second location uh, via the regular way because we had accessed it via the encyclopedia teleportation uh, mechanic so we're going to go back and we're just going to access the level the regular way and this is going to trigger the achievement so go to the second area it's called the forest and this is going to unlock the adventurer achievement worth 20 gamer score for going to all locations again it didn't unlock because we teleported here via the encyclopedia earlier at this point you guys should have the full 1000 gamer score or platinum trophy the first time i played the game i completed it in about 35 minutes the second time was about 23 minutes and this time was about 14 minutes so i used the experience that i got through those playthroughs in effort to make the quickest possible solution for this guide hopefully giving you guys the quickest path to 1000 G. So hopefully you guys enjoyed another easy 1000 gamer score or platinum trophy. Other than that, I'd like to give a huge thank you to all of my Patreon subscribers. We just hit 16 patrons. I'd like to give a special shout out to everybody in the biggest fan club, including Tim G84, AOJ, Kegger101, Michael Bengsa, and Purple Rain 6 As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe.